<laughs> All right, well, although it's a tough conversation, understanding how a loved one would like to spend the end of their lifetime is really an important decision. For folks here in Maine, one nonprofit is looking to help ease the pain and make everyone's final days as comfortable as possible. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour brings us to one of its yearly fundraisers that makes all of it a reality. End of life care is a personal topic for Sarah Lazuski, who lost three close friends in hospice. They provide comfort to patients, but also they do an amazing job for families. To and make sure staff. others can receive the same care, she's been volunteering at nonprofit Hospice of Southern Maine for nine years and looks forward to one event year round. We end up running into people who we helped during the year, and it's just really nice to circle back with them. The hike for hospice is put on each year to raise accessibility for patients receiving care either at home or at the Gosnell Memorial Hospice House. Many of you gathered here today are hiking in memory of loved ones, family or friends. In its fourth year, the event has raised more than $185,000 to support the program and patients in need. There's a variety of things that we do sort of outside the scope of uh, direct medical care to be able to help provide transportation, for example, to some of our families. Oftentimes, inpatient hospice care can cost close to $1,000 a day, so according to SeniorLiving.org. Medical Director Dr. Fernando Moreno We're says the programs great. they offer can help over 200 patients a day. After a quick breakfast, prizes, and even some dancing to get walkers warmed up, the group hit the pavement, hiking the Eastern Trail. It's the beauty of hospice is it's a team approach. Yeah. It's everything from doctors, nurses, social workers, chaplains. A team walking together to help share some comfort. In Scarborough, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine. And a virtual walk was also available for folks to attend at their own pace.